Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's your boy Infinity for now. Um, I might end up changing that name just because if you look up Infinity, there's a lot of lot of infinities, so it's probably gonna be a little hard to find me amongst all the infinities. So, I'm gonna try to find something a little bit more unique. But today we're looking at the open combat missions Intel drop for Modern Warfare Three. There's a lot of, I watched the video already, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, is very interesting about open combat, so we're just going to go over that real quick. Modern Warfare 3 introduces open combat missions, which, for the first time, allows players the choice of how to complete objectives based on their preferred playstyle. Now, this isn't the first game to have choices in a game. Black Ops 2, I think, was the first call of duty game to actually let you choose give you like choices what to do you can um execute harper in one of the missions or try to execute menendez and that'll affect the outcome of the game whether karma lives or karma dies you can shoot the um captain of the ship or in in the lake or you can kill him like Black Ops 2 had some missions that affected the outcome of the game, affected the very end of the game, and what would happen. But this is basically saying that you get to choose what kind of combat you like the most. Open combat missions are part of the campaign. They're part of the story. But you get to play them in the way that you want to play them. Those who like stealth gameplay, play it stealthily those who like to snipe or if you like vehicles or if you like to go guns and blazing all of those options are supported and afforded to you as a player okay now with them saying this i do like the idea of that because i'm a more stealthy game player i like to go quiet suppressed everything like that so when i do this um when i do this run through of the campaign i will probably definitely be playing more of the stealth side and before this game drops and the campaign comes out I'll probably be purchasing hopefully Modern Warfare 1 will be at a discount and I'll probably be purchasing Modern Warfare 1 also for my PC and we'll run through the campaign of Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2 up until the release date of Modern Warfare 3 and we'll run through that whole campaign so we get an overall view and look of what these games look like and what the whole story is together but i'll definitely be paying playing a lot more stealthy slow methodical gameplay under the uh during this i am not a i always enjoyed the more stealthy missions than running gun spray and pray kind of uh kind of style i do appreciate them every now and then to break the monotony but i just love stealth gameplay so i think we're gonna have a lot of fun with that this isn't just some additional mode that lives alongside the campaign. This is intertwined with the story, and we've intentionally dispersed these throughout the campaign. When the player starts the mission, they are given a loadout, but as they go through and play, they'll be encountering new weapons, tacticals, loot crates, and these are all added to your arsenal. Players can change it up, play the mission now with suppressed weapons and sneak around or strap on armor plates and run in loud, get right into the action. Enemies are now adapting and adjusting to your playstyle. Oh. Okay, now when it comes to this, the one thing that I don't really like too much is that we're starting out with a loadout already. Usually when you start out with a loadout, it's the loadout that's gonna best suit the mission that you're being put into. I would rather have, and I hate to say it, like a, well, I know, I don't hate to say it, I actually agree with it, and I figured once Black Ops 2 did it, all Call of Duties would do it, let us choose our loadout to begin with. If you let us choose our loadout to begin with, we wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to put loot crates in everywhere, just, if you just let us choose our loadout to begin with, I think figure in my in my head you know i'm not a game developer or anything like that i figure in my head if you let us choose what we want to play with at the beginning of the mission if a stealthy person wants to put on suppressors instead of having to put loot crates everywhere in the map to find and then we can play our play style i figured it'd be probably easier to just put those loot crates in in the beginning 
and or not the loot crates, put the um, let us choose and build our classes in the beginning, like Black Ops Two did. Um, that's really my that's really my only gripe with this is if it'd probably be easier as a dev, a developer to let us choose our loadouts from the beginning instead of just having loot crates all over the place that we gotta find to select our playstyle. So it's a little it's a little iffy there. And you could do mission briefs like this is a uh this is a loud mission. You could go in this way, this way, this way, or you could find this way, this way, this way. And it's something that's been done before and it's been a long time since I played Cold War. But I believe Cold War did it that way where I'm not too sure if you selected your loadout. I can't remember but there are also like different missions and I think different ways you can enter that mission. Don't beat me up in the comments if I'm wrong because it's been years since I've played that. Since I've played the campaign of that. When I first came out I played the campaign. I haven't touched it since. Which I might revisit. Open combat missions have a decent amount of replayability aspect to them. And when I say that it's less about go through the entire game and start over and play it a second time. It's more about within each mission, trying to experience it in different ways. In one level, we start you on top of a catwalk overlooking the entire level. Hopefully by that point in the game, the player has gotten to a point where they can figure out how to start picking it apart. So player empowerment is a huge part of that level. You may even decide you know, to challenge yourself on some of these, like what's the fastest I can do this, or can I just bring a knife to a gunfight and really kind of push the bounds on what you can bring as a player. These are the type of campaign missions that we've always wanted to create, and we just can't wait to get them into the hands of the players. All right, so, and um, there it is. There's the whole open, uh, there's the whole open combat um, for the campaign. I actually don't really have too much of a problem. I only had that one gripe about it, where if you just let us start with building our um with building our loadouts we could play the style that we want to play at the beginning instead of having to find loot crates and everything like that and i hope that's something that you know like this open combat they continue to do throughout the um throughout call of duties but i would just change that one thing if i were the developers i'd change that one thing let us choose our loadout at the beginning and how we want to go in um, I feel like this Modern Warfare is going to be pretty stealth, and a lot of it's going to take place in the dark. Uh, ultimately though, I'm pretty excited. I want to get, I don't like getting caught in that COD cycle. I didn't buy Modern, I didn't buy World War II because I didn't think it looked like that good of a game, and it wasn't up until halfway, and the developers were like, oh, okay. I actually think they switched developers, I'm not too sure, for halfway through Modern Warfare 2. But it was a terrible game up until halfway in its life cycle. And Vanguard was a terrible game up until halfway through its life cycle when they finally added trophy systems. They didn't want to add trophy systems because they didn't think it would be realistic. But they have r red dot sites and everything like that, which is not realistic for that time period anyway. Um, and then they started having fun with the game putting in um Godzilla, King Kong and Mecha Godzilla and I think, you know, as the COD community, that's what we want more is a lot more fun and excitement and everything like that. So um you know, in a Modern Warfare 2, they just added Nicki Minaj and they added Snoop Dogg and they had The Boys that just came out, which I bought the Black Noir bundle and it is the only bundle that I've bought throughout this whole COD, throughout this whole COD, it's the only thing that I've ever bought. I haven't even bought a battle pass yet. I'm mostly concerned about getting free weapons. This is going to be one that I probably pre-order for open beta and campaign. Um, and I'll probably end up getting the Vault Edition. It is $100, but I mean the base game is already like $70. So another $30 to get the Vault Edition. That's some perks of Modern Warfare 2. And a lot more perks of Modern Warfare 3. And before I play any campaign, before I play any uh, multiplayer or anything like that, I always play the campaign first. So we'll play the campaign first. Um, that'll be one video that I, that'll probably be a three-parter, maybe a four-parter, depending. I'm probably going to keep those videos to an hour. And, and so however long it takes. 
Um, I'll probably end up doing them all in one day and just cutting them down into an hour each. Uh, or I'll see how many missions they have and I'll divide it up like that. And we'll see how many missions we can do in different intervals. Um, but I'll figure that out. I'm super... <laughs> I don't want to say I'm super excited for this game because I think it's being spearheaded by Sludgehammer, I believe, and they're just fixing everything that the developers from Modern Warfare 2 always get it. So it's Sludgehammer, Treyarch, and Infinity War. So I think Sludgehammer Games is doing everything Infinity War didn't do in Modern Warfare 2, or vice versa. I can't remember who does what anymore besides that Treyarch does the Black Ops games. That's all I've <laughs> That's all I can remember now. But I think that should be it for this video. And um, I won't have cam, I uh, won't have face cam for a while until I get into a new place where I'm able to just have my setup. So it'll all be voice for now. And But that, should, that still should be cool. I'll have some more content dropping. I've been wanting to make more and more content. And I've been trying to figure out a way to do it with Cam, but I just figured we'll just do it without Cam. And I've also been trying to figure out a name change that I wanna that I wanna change. So if you have any like unique name changes, drop them down in the comments, and I'll be looking at them. But I figured this is something that you know, it's a two minute video we can watch together and really talk about it. Plus, I'm a big campaign guy, um, so I always believe that the campaigns are worth telling. And it was really disappointing when Black Ops Four didn't have a campaign. Um, and I'm a big Black Ops guy, and if you want to see more Forza Horizon 5, which I haven't played in months, drop it down in the comments and say, hey, I like the Forza ones too. We'll get back to Forza gameplay and Cold and um, Modern Warfare gameplay. If there's other games you want me to check out, again, like Dead by Daylight, I'll go ahead and hop in Dead by Daylight try to get some friends on again. But, you know, thank you guys for stopping and hanging out and bearing with me, and I'm going to try to get more videos out, and we, I do want to start a new, before I let you guys go, I do, I do want to start a new, uh, a new series on Modern Warfare 2, it's just going to be the road to max weapons, I'm a very casual player, so the road to polyatomic, the road to all gold, polyatomic, uh, the other cam, Orion, like, ah, that, that would probably be Two years? I mean, if I really, if this was my job and career and I could just sit here and do this for eight hours a day and take weekends off, I would have Polyatomic and Orion done already because I have a lot of guns gold and maxed out. But we're going to focus on maxing all the guns first and then we'll work out through, you know, the years, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 3 jumping back to Modern Warfare 2 and seeing what's up with that game, seeing how live that game is. But right now, let's just... Focus on Modern Warfare 2 until Modern Warfare 3 comes completely out. And when they do the open beta, we'll be playing the open beta also. Thank you, guys. Wait, wait, wait. What does that say? Oh, okay, 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 okay. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping and hanging out. I'll catch you guys a little later. And that's it. Peace.